So those of you that are struggling with your short game, this video is for you. So we're inside gears here and a couple of things I want you to notice, and this is a typical setup position for someone that has been told to put the ball back in your stance or you need to hit down on the golf ball and to make the ball go up and that's why the ball's not going up. And I wanted to take you inside gears and show you exactly what happens when we do this. So right here is the ball position line here. It's back off of almost <laughs> way right off of the right shoulder here in the center of the pelvis is represented by this dot right here. So when we take a back swing, one of the things that we've noticed is if this center of this pelvis line does not find the ball line somewhere close to it, we're not going to hit good golf shots. So let's see what happens here. We actually shift our weight forward and get farther away from where we started to the ball line, even farther away. And I'm going to zoom in here in a minute. Let's take a look at what contact looks like here. Let's zoom in here. It's pretty neat stuff to be able to see this as we come down on the golf ball. In actuality, you're coming down too much on the golf ball and you don't hit all of the golf ball. So we can look over here and see that we don't touch the golf ball at all. We don't get it up on the face. We're hitting down on it so much that we don't look at how far down that club goes, right? And this causes hitting skull shots that go across the green. And then also when players tend to set up this way, they know they want to get it in the air. So what they end up doing is tilting backwards to try to get this center of their pelvis over the ball line and they can't. So they hit it fat with their wrist. So let's check out what a really good pitcher of the golf ball does and how they move their body. So here we can see a total different setup. We can see the opposite. The center of the pelvis is behind the ball line and the ball line's way up in front of someone's nose here to hit a, uh, this pitch shot here. So let's see what happens when they start to move and they wanna get the center of the pelvis, that yellow dot, over the ball line or as close as they can to it when they go to hit a shot. And we can see that the angle of attack is going to be a lot shallower and they're going to hit a better golf shot from here when it gets closer to this line. So the farther away the center of the pelvis is from the ball line, the worse shot you hit. And you can tell here they hit it right in the center of the club face there and they'll be able to spin it and hit a really good shot like that. So. Once again, center of the pelvis is a big deal to where the ball position is. When you guys are working on your golf game and you're uh, having troubles with pitching and chipping, look at your ball position and look at way in which you move your body to get to the golf ball. And that is something that will really help you guys fix these non-solid contact problems around the green.